Jacobs. She got a fight in the kitchen. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Ruthie's Bitch and Kitchen. I'm here with my next door neighbor and girlfriend Cynthia. How are you doing, honey bunny? Hey, I'm good. Good. I hear we're cooking with Kahlua today. We are making Kahlua fudge. Would you like a little Kahlua? Yeah, all I'm right, all right. right. Here we go. <laughs> Nothing like Kahlua and coffee. Now, this all recipe, right. Cynthia, comes from our good friend Cheryl of Milwaukee. Now, Cheryl makes this fudge with Kahlua, but sometimes she makes it with Jack Daniels, if you can believe that. So we're going to uh, make it with Kahlua, though, today. I think this tastes good. Now, Cheryl also thinks you could probably make it with Malibu. Can you even imagine how delicious that would be? It would be very good. It would be delicious. So we're going to start off with this very easy fudge. Now, if you've never made candy before, this is the perfect recipe for you to start with. So we're going to get going with some marshmallows. Now, I've got 25 marshmallows here. And Cynthia... Cynthia. I, I put that in there because, you know, Kahlua is really not alcohol. You get, you know, okay. No. So you're going to cut these marshmallows in half. Now, I like to use a kitchen shears versus a knife. And here's a little tip for you. If you take some cooking spray and just spritz them a little bit, the marshmallows won't stick to the uh, shears quite so much. It's a little bit easier. So there you go. Cut these in half and just pop them in there. I've got 25 counted out for you. Nice. Now, while she is working on those marshmallows, we're gonna make our special Kahlua sauce. And this is the secret ingredient to the fudge. I've got two and a half cups of powdered sugar here. Some people call that confectioner sugar if you wanna be fancy. And then we're gonna whisk in, guess how much Kahlua, Cynthia? Nah, a Kahlua is really not alcohol. We're gonna no. do three fourths of a cup of Kahlua, oh, all wow. right? Do it's a little much, I'm not going to lie to you. So three-fourths of a cup of Kahlua or whatever alcohol you choose to use for this particular recipe. Oh, smell that Kahlua. Oh, you've got it in your coffee. Oh, it's good. Mm. 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 All right, so I'm going to steer this right into my powdered sugar. I'm not doing very well on these marshmallows. Oh, yeah, get going on that, honey. Sorry. And I like to use a whisk for this because it kind of keeps that powdered sugar a little bit more contained. And as you'll see, it's going to turn into a lovely, lovely caramel color. This is also a great thing if you've got kids in the house who want to get involved. Have them cut those damn marshmallows. Now look at that Kahlua mixture. It's a nice caramel color. comes together in no time. So we're going to put this on the side, and we're going to start our sugar mixture, all right? How are you doing with those marshmallows? Looks like you're all done. I ate a couple of them. Is that going to be a problem? <laughs> yes, it'll ruin the whole damn thing. Yeah. So we have a very large pot. You want to use a pot that's very sturdy, something with a heavy bottom whenever you're making fudge, because this whole thing is made on the stovetop, all right? Where's my sugar? Here it is. I have five cups of sugar. This sounds like a... I know. It's Holy a lot of crap. sugar. It's actually half of a package. It's about two pounds of sugar. Five cups, cups. of white It's sugar. a lot. But you know what? It's fudge. So you need a lot of sugar. You need a lot of butter. I have two sticks of butter. I like to cube the butter first. That way it melts a little bit quicker when we put this all together. All right? Two cups of butter. Inject that right into your arteries. Uh, you can taste the diabetes. <laughs> all right. Two cups of butter, and then I have one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. If you wanted to, you could use almond extract. I like the vanilla personally. So we're going to take this, we're going to put it on the stovetop, and we're just going to cook it over medium-high heat until it all melts up. It takes a little while, but it's not too bad because the sugar melts pretty quickly. Okay. And just keep stirring. Keep stirring so it doesn't melt on the bottom. Start stirring! Hurry! Oh, God. So we're going to put our marshmallows on the side, too, as well as that Kahlua mixture that we made. Now... When you make fudge, you want to have a 9 by 13 pan. That's what we're going to use for this recipe. I got to tell you, it's almost like solid. It, it'll, it'll melt down, though. Trust me. You got to have, put some muscle into it, baby. All right. Okay. Put some muscle into that, you Damn. crazy All right. bitch. All right. Now, I have my 13 by 9 pan here. And as you see, I have it lined with aluminum foil. That's very, very important when you're making fudge. Now, notice... On my pan, I have these, some extra aluminum foil on both sides. Ruthie, it's like, it's like solid. Why am I stirring it? It'll, it'll, it'll melt down, honey. Just take your time. Ruthie! Ruthie! You forgot something again! We forgot the what? one cup of whole milk! Ah! So we want to ah! add this ah! to our sugar mixture. <laughs> I told you it there was solid! Whoops! One cup of whole milk. Yeah. Now, you know, I'm the one that drinks. I don't make a lot of candy. 
do use whole milk for this recipe, but just buy it in one of these little tiny bottles like this. You only need a cup. These little bottles are a great money saver if you're making this recipe. So she's stirring that up. We have our foil lined pan. We have our handles over the sides that are so important. Make sure you have those. Now I'm gonna take a stick of butter and I like to just unwrap it halfway like that. And we're just going to butter up this aluminum foil. Very simple, a kid can do it, very easy to do. So you wanna foil this, uh, butter this whole pan, make sure you get the sides nice too, all right? You really wanna butter it up. Let's see how Cynthia's doing. Sin, look at that, that's exactly how it should look. Now she's gonna stir that until it comes to a boil or a high simmer, all right? Once it comes to a boil or a high simmer, then she's gonna keep stirring it for another four minutes. Very important to keep stirring it for four minutes while it's at a boil or a high simmer. Then it won't be gritty and then you won't have that sugar grit. You will have a nice velvety uh, mixture. It looks perfect. It's nice and hot, it's boiling. She's been stirring it. Let's get your hands off. Okay, I'll bring it over here, it's, it might be hot, careful. Put it right here. For crap's All right. sake. So once you have stirred that for four minutes at boiling, we are gonna remove it from the heat and we're gonna stir in a bag of semi-chocolate chips. Now this mixture- Semi-chocolate chips? Semi, semi I'm sorry, it's bittersweet chocolates. There we go, bittersweet chocolate chocolates. That means they're like almost chocolate chips. I have a cooking show. <laughs> so we're yeah. gonna stir those in. Now this is so hot, as you can see, it's melting very nicely already. Take a look at that. It melts up, it melts beautifully. This is gonna turn into a lovely, mm. velvety, chocolate mixture. So I'm gonna stir that now while this is still nice. Oh, it's really hot. It's really, really hot. Ah, there she goes. Not what bad. Buttery, chocolatey. It's gonna get better because oh. we're gonna add marshmallows. Oh, God, the so marshmallows. stir in the marshmallows that you cut up I'm for us nice. I'm not stirring any more. Pop them in there. All of them? All at once? Yeah, you can do them all at once if you want. Okay. Fudge is all about that wonderful, rich, velvety texture. Now, again, we cut these in half, so you can see that they're melting nice and quick and nice and evenly. So we're going to keep stirring that. Now, while I'm doing this, do you want to go grab that Kahlua mixture that we oh, created yes, earlier? indeed. Now, what's in here? That is our powdered sugar and Ooh. our Kahlua. And what I want you to do is just kind of whisk that up. Whisk it a little bit. Just give it one final whisk. Oh, and it's very velvety. Very isn't it delightful? And now, if you don't mind, my dear, isn't that yummy? Nothing wrong with that. If you don't mind sugar, if you, oh, oh look at that. New uses for old things. Mm -hmm. So if you wouldn't mind just pouring that right in here, okay, wait, the whole thing. All off the whisk. Do you have a spatula? No, you can just pour it in. It'll pour in nice, you'll see. Right. Oh, did you just lick that? I always lick up. All right. That's what I do best. There we go. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Let's get that all in there. And this really is sort of your secret ingredient to this fudge. There we go. Good. Now, if you like your fudge with nuts in it, some people like those candy cherries in it, this is the time right. to add it. You want to add it now while you're stirring everything together, all right? Oh, so good, so yummy. Do you want to grab that foil line pan for me, sugar booger? I'm smacking here on Oh, dear. That's okay, honey. We're, gonna, we're ready to pour our fudge into our pan. Mm -hmm. So I have my 13 by 9 pan lined with the foil that I have buttered so nice. And we're just going to pour this right in there. Are you ready? Ready, set. Are you ready? Ready, set. Here we go. And it just pours in so nice and lovely. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, it's hot. Be careful. Damn. Never too hot for me. Oh, you are a hot, hot stuff. Mm -hmm. It is Valentine's. What are your plans for Valentine's Day? Do you have any? I hit Valentine's Day. How about sitting in a McDonald's waiting for someone for two hours? Oh, let, it let it go. Let it go, Ruthie. Ruthie let it go. Ruthie, let it go. Ruthie, Ruthie, Ruthie. Ruthie, Ruthie. So there we go. We have our wonderful fudge. Now I'm going to let this sit out for just a little bit until it cools. Whoop. We're going to cover it up and we're going to plop it in the refrigerator overnight. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator right now, actually. And we'll come back tomorrow morning. Absolutely.
Hey, it's morning. It's Valentine's Day morning. Let's have some fudge. Oh, God. Our fudge has been refrigerating overnight. Just what I want. It is a perfect morning dish. Fudge. Where's my coffee? Here. I need coffee. Go get some coffee. Huh. So, uh, here's our lovely fudge that we made yesterday. It's nice and solid. So, now remember we had those handles on the edge of the pan that I said was so important? Yeah. This is why. You're just going to pick them up and we're going to lift it right out of the pan. One, two, three. There it goes. Uh, Beautiful. Now, if it yeah. sticks in your pan and you can't lift it out, just let it sit out for a little bit and let it loosen up a little bit. It'll come out beautifully. Everything's so, better when it's loosened up. Now we have our fudge. And what we can do with this fudge, because we buttered it, is you'll see that this foil just comes off so nicely. And the reason that's important, everyone, is so that you can cut the fudge into nice, even pieces, and you don't have to worry about getting foil on anything, all Unless right? Unless there's someone that you don't like. Then you leave the little piece of foil on there, and when they bite it, they get that thing that happens with their filling. Screw those bastards! <laughs> Valentine's losers! Ugh. All right. Yeah. So um, when you're cutting fudge, you want to have a nice, 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 sharp, large knife. And you're just going to slice it. Look, at it. it's nice and soft. So you can make even pieces very, very easily. You can cut them into bite-sized pieces if you want. Whatever you want to do. Look, at you want to try it? Oh, I want this breadstick. Oh, go ahead. We also like have a, a magic of internet television. There's our final product. Look at that. Perfect for Valentine's Day. I'm if you like want to. Body. Ooh, it looks like something else. If you want to, you could put a little uh, Valentine sprinkle on there and make it kind of special. Or just serve it up like that for a friend, for a neighbor, mm. for someone who stood you up at McDonald's for two hours. Whatever. It's fine. So here's to us in our Kahlua fudge. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty. Delicious. I love it. Now, what do we always say, Cynthia? Wherever you're cooking, the kitchen is bitchin'. Bye-bye. Oh.